it's your finger that's pulling this trigger. You messed with the wrong family. Welcome to Mojo at the Movies. I'm Eric, and today I'm joined by Ricky Ricardo Tucci. How you doing, buddy? Fantastic. How are you? You know what? Your name just rolls off the tongue. I like to say that. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, so Ricky is one of our um, video game experts and also a movie buff, and we went to go see the new uh, Tomb Raider movie last night. Uh, and we're going to answer the question, is Alicia Vikander the better Laura Croft? Uh, but we'll get to that first. Uh, what, what did you think of the movie? Well, uh... Alicia Vikander is super likable as Lara Croft. I think she brings a lot of energy. She looked great in the role, um, but I feel like she had she had that that thing where you want to keep watching her. Right. There's this magnetic quality. Yeah. Not to say that Angelina Jolie doesn't have a different kind of magnetic right. quality, but this is there's an approachability to her. There's a likability. Yeah. You know, early on in the movie, there's a scene where you know they're kind of setting her up as this. Um, kind of every woman type character, and at one point you leaned over and you're like, "She's so easy to like." Yeah, yeah, definitely. She's uh, she's definitely closer to reality than the the previous uh, portrayal of Lara Croft, which is this very rich, very posh kind of adventurer who is very over the top. Whereas um, Alicia Vikander's portrayal of Lara Croft is this down to earth girl, very smart, curious. Um, kind of making her own way in life, so. She is an heiress, uh, but she is a reluctant heiress, right? right? Yeah. So she doesn't want to uh, take her, her dad's money or live in the, in, in the manor. The Croft uh, Manor, yeah. Right, exactly. And so uh, they set it up as, she's, she's one of us. Right. Um, but at the same time, uh, you know, she's also an iconic um, video game character that, that we've come to know as this grand adventure. So, do, you know, in the end, do you feel that she pulls it off in the 360? Uh, you know, is she as much of the adventurer as she is the everyday woman? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think the Tomb Raider series has been around for over 20 years, and um, the way that the way that I see it is this movie is very close to the 2013 reboot of Tomb Raider, right? Which pushes Lara as this more personable, less. I would say over the top adventurer who has this curiosity. She's more rugged, uh, less sexualized than uh, previous versions. And I think that she does justice to the role and I, uh, the movie is made because of her portrayal. Of she the carries the whole thing. She carries I mean, the whole thing. I, I don't know if this movie would exist without her. Someone was saying that I think Daisy Ridley was uh, yeah. being considered for the role. I, like you said, she has her Star Wars. She has her, yeah. uh, uh, so, so I was happy to see Alicia there. Uh, it's interesting because I read in The Hollywood Reporter an article about the origins of the sexualized nature of, of Lara Croft. And basically it says that, you know, the 1996 Tomb Raider console and PC games had overly exaggerated proportions, a cartoonish quality that its original developers said was the result of the restrictions posed by the 32-bit consoles. Oh, yeah, that's so super interesting. It, they were saying that long hair was difficult to get right in those early games, so to, you know, uh, the, the developers amped up her breasts and <laughs> hips in order to telegraph that she was a woman. Uh, and, well, it worked. I mean, uh, when, when Larry came out uh, as a video game character in 1996 in her first appearance, um, every, you know, subsequent appearance after, she was on magazines uh, with the big breasts and the short shorts and hypersexualized. And so as a result of that technology, she became known as this kind of sex icon. And maybe the adventurer part took a bit of a backseat um, later on. And now, you know, back with the 2013 reboot of the game, where we're bringing her back to kind of these origins of she's this, uh, she's this girl who's just making her way in life. She, she has, she's smart. She has this thirst or adventure. And she's less of this over-sexualized character, more of this every woman. Uh, I think that that's a good step for the series, and I, I personally enjoyed that about this entry in, the, in this movie. So beyond Alicia, how did you feel the rest of the movie fared compared to the old ones? Because, you know, we were watching some footage of the, the <laughs> earlier ones. They were so 90s. And, and Techno and, and, and crazy stylized action. If, it, if that wasn't in a movie, then it wasn't a movie <laughs> back in the 90s, yeah. So, you know, the, the, the early ones, the Angelina Jolie ones, uh, definitely had, they left their mark in a certain way. Right. How, how did this film compare? 
Okay, well, uh, this one was much more grounded in reality, uh, as much as you can ground a, you know, a, a crazy adventure uh, raiding tombs in reality, uh, because the, the original one in 2000, I think it's 2001, um, it was it, it had a lot of mystical elements to it, right? And uh, you know, Lara was fighting these giant robots and these these kind of like animated uh, warriors made of stone, and so it was very fantastical and very video game ish. Well, that's it. Did, did those was that closer to the DNA of the game? I would say it was closer to the DNA of the game, but it it wasn't necessarily closer to something that would be believable or necessarily more enjoyable. It was just action packed and had a lot of stuff going on. Whereas I feel like this Tomb Raider really got down to um, it, it, it was it was less fantastical, which made it more believable, which made the characters a bit more grounded. Um, you know, there was no Illuminati, which was kind of like the the the. the the thing about the 2000 one was like, okay, the Illuminati's the big thing now, they're these big bad guys. It's, it's, it's much more tame in that respect. And um, I think that it does a better job at, at, at making you believe that, okay, this is, this is an explorer who stumbled upon this tomb and, and there's this, this ancient curse. Do we know if there's really a curse? Is it just hearsay? It, it addresses that in, in, a, in a nice little plot twist. But uh, I, I think it does a better job at grounding you in reality than the, than the previous entries. But here's my complaint. Um, the villain uh, in this movie just seemed more Vocal. utilitarian than, than, than anything else. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the danger, the challenges. I found this movie to be unchallenging. And, and you know, as you went through it, I never felt that the stakes uh, got Word. very, you know, it, it was never very, yes, there was lots of danger, but you never for a second wondered, is she going to make it through this? Yeah, you know where she's, you know she's going to be fine. Right. Uh, and you know she's super smart. She solves all the puzzles that her dad leaves her, which most people would never, ever be able to solve. But I mean, this is Lara Croft. That's, 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 part, of, uh, that's part of the character. So um, I think that comes with video game territory. It's a uh -huh. game based on solving puzzles, uh, you know, raiding tombs, and so the character is assumed to have this knowledge and this ability, and it's you never really see it fostered other than through you know flashbacks right. for as a kid. So, but if yeah. I were to, you know, the other night I saw um, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark on TV, and oh. I was reminded what a brilliant movie that is. Yeah. and that you know, to me, that sets the standard of what you know an adventure movie could be. Uh, and this, to me, just, it, 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 it was by the numbers. It, right. Uh, if it wasn't for Alicia, the whole thing would have fell f yeah. fallen flat. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Uh, the story and the plot was very cookie cutter. It, 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 it was basically an excuse to, to get you to meet Alicia and to see her raid tombs and do cool stuff. But it, but it took her 76 minutes to raid a tomb. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's, it, it, it moved really fast. And um, I think that's part of, again, this video game the way video games are set up, where it's like you, you have this objective, you do this, you get here, you solve the crime, you, you, you beat the bad guy, and you move on, and they set up a sequel. Right, but what I'm saying is that it took 76 minutes before she entered her first two. Yeah, so... So, you know, it, it, uh, I feel that they might have, uh, you know, been better suited to get her into the tombs and get the action going. Um, it wasn't a bad movie, per se, no. but I don't know if it... I mean, it's certainly not going to win any Oscars. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, no, it's 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 it's... It's a passable. It's a. It's a. If you liked the original Tomb Raider movies, mm -hmm. um, you you might you might you know like this one. But I, I really think that uh, Elisa Vikander's portrayal of Lara Croft is the strongest uh, thing that this movie has going for it. I think that she's super likable, and even if you know the plot doesn't hook you right away, even if some of the you know the villains are are, are kind of just set up uh, to introduce you to maybe a larger uh, overreaching organization. I think that her, watching her on screen is a joy. And um, enough to bring, surely there's gonna be a sequel, Definitely. and I will see the sequel just for her, because I think she was great. I it. think she was great too, and yeah, I mean, she's, she's the, the lifeblood of this now, so. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much, uh, Ricky. Let us know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Thank you. If you're listening to this, then I must be dead. I found something, a tomb called the Mother of Death. If Trinity succeeds, our world is in danger. Promise me, you will stop them. I promise.